Psalm 28, 7 Yahweh is my strength and my shield. My heart has trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices. With my song, I will thank him. Psalm 50, 23 Whoever offers the sacrifice of thanksgiving glorifies me and prepares his way so that I will show God's salvation to him. Psalm 100 Shout for joy to Yahweh, all you lands. Serve Yahweh with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that Yahweh, he is God. It is he who has made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name for Yahweh is good. His loving kindness endures forever. His faithfulness to all generations. Psalm 105, 1-2 Give thanks to Yahweh. Call on His name. Make His doings known among the peoples. Sing to Him. Sing praises to Him. Tell of all His marvelous works. Psalm 118, 28 through 29. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will exalt you. Oh, give thanks to Yahweh, for he is good, for his loving kindness endures forever. First Corinthians fifteen fifty five through fifty seven Death, where is your sting? Hades, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. Thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Second Corinthians two fourteen. Now thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumph in Christ, and reveals through us the sweet aroma of his knowledge in every place. Second Corinthians 9, 10 through 11 and 15. Now may he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the fruits of your righteousness. You being enriched in everything to all generosity, which produces thanksgiving to God through us. 
Now thanks be to God for his unspeakable gift. Ephesians 1, 15-16 For this cause, I also, having heard of the faith in the Lord Jesus which is among you, and the love which you have toward all the saints, don't cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. Ephesians 5, 18-20 Don't be drunken with wine, in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always concerning all things in the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Philippians 4, 6-7 through In nothing be anxious, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 11 through 13. Not that I speak because of lack, for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content in it. I know how to be humbled, and I also know how to abound. In everything and in all things, I have learned the secret, both to be filled and to be hungry, both to abound and to be in need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Colossians 3, 15 through 17. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching, and admonishing one another, with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. Whatever you do, in word or in deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Colossians 4, 2 Continue steadfastly in prayer, watching in it with thanksgiving. First Thessalonians 5, 15-18 See that no one returns evil for evil to anyone but always follow after that which is good for one another and for all. Always rejoice. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus 
toward you. First Timothy 2, 1 through 4. I exhort, therefore, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercessions, and givings of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all who are in high places, that we may lead a tranquil and quiet life in all godliness and reverence. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and come to full knowledge of the truth. Hebrews 12, 28-29 Therefore, receiving a kingdom that can't be shaken, let's have grace, through which we serve God acceptably, with reverence and awe. For our God is a consuming fire. Hebrews 13, 14 through 16. For we don't have here an enduring city, but we seek that which is to come. Through him, then, let's offer up a sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is, the fruit of lips which proclaim allegiance to his name. But don't forget to be doing good and sharing, for with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. James 1, 2 through 4. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you fall into various temptations, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. Let endurance have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. James 1.17 Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom can be no variation nor turning shadow. Revelation eleven seventeen. We give you thanks, Lord God, the Almighty, the one who is and who was, because you have taken your great power and reigned. <laughs>